Jamie from Violet Gray and I'm here with Leanne Citrone from Andy Lecomte and I've been getting my hair cut with Leanne for about a year and a half now and Leanne has really grown my hair to new lengths so she's going to show us the best way to grow out your hair. Alright, let's go get shampoo. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> so you came in yeah. with short, like a short haircut. Yeah. That you, like, that wasn't really working. I'm of the belief that you don't need to cut it that often. You should just like dust the ends to keep the split ends off, but not to take more than you need because you, then you're just cutting off what you're trying to grow. What sort of products can someone use to promote hair growth? Really good shampoo and conditioner, if nothing else, is super important. Mm -hmm. I personally prefer when people have like a couple of options in their shower. Mm -hmm. So it's it, maybe you're not going from like one bottle to the next, but you're rather like using something for a week and then trying something else and between like a lighter one and a like a like a you know like Isles formula is really light mm -hmm. and doesn't weigh the hair down and is a great shampoo and conditioner. Yeah. But then there's also like the Orbe products, the shampoos and conditioners are heavier mm -hmm. and sort of give the hair more weight feel. Yeah. Which is great too. But, so it's nice if you can like alternate what you have so you're not getting used to any one product. And do you think that helps with hair growth or is it more just like keeping it in shape? I think keeping it healthy, keeping it clean, keeping it conditioned, conditioning treatments, a healthy diet, not a lot of caffeine. I mean, caffeine has been proven to dehydrate your skin and your hair. It's a good thing we don't drink coffee. Well, I know it's a really good <laughs> thing that neither one of us drink coffee. Yeah. That's why your hair grew. Yeah. That's why it grows so fast. Do you think that heat is a contributor to how well your hair will grow or how quickly it will grow? Yeah, you can definitely see the difference in people's hair if they over blow dry it, if they flat iron it every day. Yeah. I mean, I always tell people like if you're if you're just going to work or you're going to the gym and no like you're not no one's gonna see you, don't flat iron your hair, don't blow dry your hair, like wear it up. Right. Just give it a break. The more you do, the harder it is on your hair. Yeah. For sure. Don't ever sleep with your hair in a ponytail. Why not? I think it breaks the hair. It's just, I, I always, I wear my hair up a lot, but I always sleep with it down. Okay. There's a lot of products that can be harder on the hair. Any of those sprays that have a lot of alcohol that are very drying, oils are much better to use. Okay. Like the Playa oil mm -hmm. is amazing. I'm not a massive believer of a ton of product. I think less is more, it keeps your hair clean longer. Yeah, totally. Your blow dry lasts longer. So, Jamie's hair, we've been growing for about a year and a half. So we sort of initially started just dusting it and trying to you know, keep the split ends away, keep it healthy, and let it grow as fast as we could. Um, and then as it sort of gained some length, we started to cut into it and give it more shape. And now she has this like amazing, long, luscious, <laughs> enviable <laughs> mane. All true. Very true. Now we cut it. How does dry cutting help? I like to cut it wet just to get like a basic shape. Yeah. And then cut it dry to add the like texture mm -hmm. and movement. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Sorry. 
great. It looks great. Love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>